Morning, Deus. Welcome the hell on in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Clear out the old throat for a second there. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I'm doing okay. I had. Well, first off, welcome, 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 welcome to friggin' Monday. Oh my God. Oh, offer me a promotion. Oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this, look at this sweet offer in chat. Can you give me a promotion? Band. Band. Take your promotion and shove it up your ass, son. <clears throat> anyway. I keep having this reoccurring dream that I'm back in the office in person and I get laid off in person. So the dream I had the other week, like each time I've had the dream, I've with it within my previous company, I, I was over there for over 15 years. So like I worked my way up to various different departments. And, and each time I have the dream, I am like laid off while working in a different department and all the people I worked with in that department are there. It's fucking wild. Fucking wild. I hate it. Like these dreams can stop anytime now. That's how I'm doing. That's how I woke up this morning. After like the kiddo got me up at I don't know what in the morning. She needed her foot rubbed. Like because her, her feet, her feet have been bothering her. I rubbed her foot, got her back to sleep, and then, like, if you have children, you know what it's like to sleep next to a child where you are just kicked all night long. And, like, at some point in time, you wind up with a foot in your face. Like, I don't know how they flip around the way they do in the goddamn bed, but you inevitably wind up getting, like, you're playing defense all night trying to, like, block the kicks because you're, like, half asleep. 
So you're not, you never like wake up enough to go, oh, I should go back to my bed where there is no kicking. Instead, you stay there and you just get kicked all night and just get angry about it all night long. It makes no sense. Yeah, sleeping next to an amorphous blob. Welcome to Helen and Moon. Yeah, you came into a bot. Came into a promo bot. I was like, ooh, first time chatter. That's a lot of text. It's gonna be a bot. It was a bot. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome in and enjoy your lurk. Everybody remembers the old commands. Actually, I should get Nightbot in here. I should get the same bot I use in the Discord in here, the set Nightbot, and I should just bring in, I should just bring in the, uh, the shit from Nightbot, and just add in whatever I need to like round it out. So that it works. Yeah, kids are amorphous blobs. They're just. Ugh. Yeah, Ben Moon. I hope you're doing well. Got my coffee. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna round out Super Mario Brothers 3 and I'm either gonna go into Super Mario World after that or I'm gonna start Act Razor. I haven't decided which. We're gonna do it live. We're gonna make decisions live. I'm tired. Currently working on turning the kids into Lego blocks. Excellent. Sounds like you have some sort of Halloween themed event going on. Yeah, we did uh, on Saturday, we went out by my aunts and did some trick and or treating. More Fillmore, Fillmore crew rise up. Um, my aunt actually lives in, oh, some bitch. It just remembered the world I left off on. I didn't remember my completion. I guess we're doing all of world seven. Okay, great. They remembered that I had the card though. That's great. That's helpful or something. Um, but my aunt, uh, when my when my grandparents passed away, she she had been living there with them, helping take care of them when they were older, and then she just wound up buying the house and staying there. So that was the same house I went to as a kid to go trick or treating, and so like she still like hosts like uh, my cousin, her daughter, and my daughter are close in age, so like they're buddies. So like they enjoy going trick or treating together and it's just kind of like the tradition lives on. So that's been kind of cool. I really enjoyed that. So we did that on, oh, that was a rock, that was a rock pipe. So we did that on Saturday and Sunday we went up by my brother-in-law. And like, I have posted this in the discord, but like he lives in a relatively affluent community. And like, every house we went by, instead of just having like, you, you know, I mean like, okay, so, juxtaposition we go we go by my aunt's neighborhood and like everybody's just got like whatever crap in you know like little patio uh, uh like fire like portable fire pit thing you know it's just like basically a metal dish with legs so, so people can have little campfires going while they're handing out candy you know then we go we go to rich white people community and everybody's got like these big ass solo stoves and I saw him and I was just like, oh man, you know, it's like, it's smoke, it like, it like makes it so that there's no smoke and like, it's really fancy. It's really cool. They're huge, giant stainless steel tanks. Things never break down. I'm like, oh, cool. I'd love to get that. That looks so neat. And I looked it up online and it's just like, holy shit. Like that's a $500 metal bucket for burning wood. And I got sad. Cause even before I got laid off, I don't think I could swing. I don't think I could swing that. It was like, oh my god. It's like, okay, so this is how you people do. Got it. Noted. Yeah, everybody had the same damn five hundred dollar wood burning bucket. Crazy. Crazy rich ass white people. Wild. Yeah, so I'm gonna just keep my little rusted bucket that I use. Oh my god, we're never gonna make it out of seven one. This, this is this is plain. This is plain like I'm on it. Richie Riches, yeah. Fucking Richie Riches. Fucking ridiculous. Good morning, kids. Who hope you're doing well. I mean, whatever. If I had like five hundred dollars to burn on a stainless steel bucket to put wood in, I would too, I guess. I mean, what else do you do when you got that much money? I suppose. 
then like you know one person's like this is cool i saw this so i got it and then everyone else is like well this is this is what we're doing now the standard has been set we all have to have this really expensive bucket we all need our really expensive stainless steel smokeless wood bucket standard has been set by johnson and I'm like listening to people talk about like you know because i like one thing i never really liked to super do was like uh you know like that the, the thing people always do it's like oh hey nice to meet you how you doing hey what do you do what's your title how fancy are you and like i usually just never big into that and i mean by all means i had a damn respectable title and standing but i just like i don't know and then you just listen to people talking at a social event and everybody's just like i do this cool thing for work and i'm here and i'm important and i'm special and it's just like mm, this, this is some salt in the wound today <laughs> Apparently I did a thing and I always love the sub music. Oh. <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the sub moon, your sweetheart. I don't know, what do you all do this weekend? Hits you, I saw you posted how cold it freaking got by you. I woke up this morning fucking 23 degrees. Well, shit. Not as cold as it got by you, but... <laughs> Love you, Moon. Motu, welcome the hell on in. <laughs> hey, yo! Go! Go, Mario! Thank you, Moon, for gifting that sweet, sweet sub to Kitsuri. No! I'm fucked. Hmm. Oh, you watched the end of the Halloween series instead of Hellraiser? Nice. I've only seen parts of those movies. I've never seen them all because I'm too much of a coward. You don't got to make up for nothing. You don't got to make up for nothing. Moon. Oh, <gasps> you dumbass! I forgot to... Oh, my son of a bitch. forgot all about this. Okay. Let's go back around again. A level so nice, we're gonna do it twice. Hellraiser is the only horror flick you enjoy. That's like the one I'm probably the least familiar with. I, I have a lot of horror that I just don't know or understand in general. Uh, I have no real perception of or bearing on because as a kid... And still, like, I mean, you guys remember when I was playing Resident Evil 4? You saw how horrible I did was... It wasn't even, like, scary. I couldn't handle that. Like... <laughs> think I can handle horror movies? Never have been able to. Besides what I posted in Discord, not much. Well, realizing the house needs a clean because it's getting to that point where it's... Oh, yeah. That's where I started to get kit to. That's where I started to get, um, I started like washing floors last night because I was like getting to the point and like the stupid fucking, like I got this cool floor cleaner Mababi I got once upon a time and it's got like the spinning scrubby bar on it and it's awesome and it actually gets shit clean, which I love because, you know, you're always like hunting down that mystery spot where the cats laugh, last barfed somewhere you weren't aware of. And you just want shit to be like legit clean. Um, like it does a great job. But like the stupid little rubber ring on the water tank got all fucked up and it's all, it ripped and shredded and like it just leaks water now. So I was running around with like a sprayer, like spraying in front of it. And I'm like, you know what? This works. This works. DIY fixed it. This works. Appreciate cheesy horror. Watch killer clowns from outer space. Okay. For as bad as I was with horror as a kid, I did see Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and that movie scared the fuck out of me because I was too young to, like... I wasn't... So, like, what I would do is I hated horror movies. But for whatever reason, we'd be at my grandma's, and, like, someone would, like, stop supervising me, and I'd be like, cool, I'm alone with Cable. 
let's put on a horror movie. And then I'd have nightmares for months on end because I'm an idiot. And I don't know why that would be the choice I would make. And then finally someone would walk in the room and be like, what the hell are you watching? This isn't for you. And it'd be like, I don't know. I'm too young and stupid to know better. Nightmares for months. <clears throat> That's how I lived my life. Hopefully not backbreaking work. No, 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 it was not. Need some horror movies, but maybe a fun one. Return of the Living Dead is always fun. Yeah, I gotta watch that series, like all that, all that stuff. Cause that stuff's good. I like cheesy horror is good. I, I need to, I need to expand my horizons a little bit more. Maybe I don't know. But then for me, my problem is always, I'm always up against my subconscious. I'm always up against my subconscious and what's happening while I'm sleeping. Although, I did have some cool dreams recently. Uh, because I've been playing uh, Spider-Man Remastered. And that game is a fucking masterpiece. It's better than any Spider-Man movie I've ever seen. And like, I don't like... I don't love playing modern games on stream because like for retro stuff, like, you know, okay. So you think about what it was like experiencing retro as a kid, right? Like that's all we had. So you, you wanted to immerse, you wanted to focus. Well now for me, you know, retro is the simpler form of gaming. So like when I'm playing a modern game, I want to actually like hunker down and focus. And like immerse because the games are so much more immersive than when you know we were kids playing this shit for the first time this felt immersive at that time but in comparison now this is not immersion this is this is like i'm not even looking at the screen half the time i'm just reading what you guys are typing like you, you know what i mean it's just it's just not the same and not in a bad way so like when i'm playing those new modern games i like to just sit down and give it some deep focus that sleeping subconscious can suck. I don't want tornado or zombie dream brain. No, hell no. Yeah, it's pure unadulterated joy. And I feel like it's meant to be shared with others. That's why this for me, I do prefer streaming over anything else. I refuse to do first time playthroughs of modern stuff on stream. I want to focus on the game and not get stuff spoiled. Yes, exactly Motu. Like that's exactly how I feel. Now, never mind the fact that I don't have a working capture card right now. That's a, this isn't just an excuse that I've carefully crafted. No, 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 no. I feel it like legit the same way because it's a. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. It's. I feel like, especially with streaming, like if you're if you're streaming right, you're not really fully paying attention to the game anyway. Like you can't. Or if you give the game your full attention, then you're neglecting the people that are hanging out with you. And then it's like, well, then why stream it? You know? That, yeah. So, that, I mean, I feel the same way. I, I completely agree. <laughs> it was, in fact, because he did not have a proper setup. <laughs> Call my ass out. That was, that's been the hardest part about uh, switching over to Linux. Is that I've had to just accept the fact that some of my hardware don't work with it. I don't want to go this way. I'm going to go back around. And I've mostly made my peace with it. Um, my capture card actually does still work, but I'd have to get a new one that's more Linux compatible. Uh, because fucking Evermedia was like, no, nah, we don't support that no more. It's done. It's like, fuck you. Fuck you, Evermedia. Is that mushroom still going to be there if I go back up? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, baby! Mushroom permanence. <laughs> you have Spider-Man 2 not getting streamed till we finish it? Hell yeah. Yeah, I gotta wait for that. It was just on sale. But, um... I gotta figure out what site it was I bought the first Spider-Man on. Because I got it, like... I got it for, like, 20 bucks or something crazy. Like, money money is tight right now, so it's like... I, want, I really want to get the next one. But... I still have all the DLC to do on the first one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rock through the DLC. I started a new game plus. I still have some shit I can unlock. Um, just because you know you do a new game plus, now I can get. Because what I didn't want to do is like Tanuki. I got so much to nuke, baby. I don't know what to do with it. We're nuking out over here. Um, I got a. The 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 one thing I didn't super enjoy. 
um, I enjoyed, but I will never like per perfect it, is the uh, goddamn, uh, what is it called? There's like those challenges that the Taskmaster gives you. And like, I have like next to no desire to like get gold on all those. I got silver on nearly all of them when I completed them. And it's like, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. But that wasn't enough tokens to unlock all the suits and shit. So I'm hoping on a new game plus, I should be granted that opportunity. Which pipe is it? Oh, is the one I was on? Perfect. I think I got Spider-Man Remastered CD keys for like 25. Yep. Yeah. Same. Yep. That's where I. That. That's what I think I did. I got a. I got a key for it. And it was like 25 bucks. Oh, so it remembers that I beat the fortress. That's interesting. So what I just figured out when I fired this back up is that like the save kept my my lives. Remembered what world I was on. Kept all my items. It apparently remembers the fortresses I broke and shit I unlocked, but I still had to go through the levels again. So that's really interesting. That I didn't, I didn't know. I forgot it had worked like that. We getting the two up? Nope. We made a mushroom with walrus teeth. Yeah, so if I, like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I guess everybody keep me posted. If you see Spider-Man 2 anywhere where, where there's a site dropping uh, the keys, the Steam keys for it for like, you know, 25, that I would definitely go after. Not that the creators in the company that produced the, you know, yes, a mushroom with phallic dongles. Dongles. Big dongles. Uh, not that they don't, like, you know, deserve full price for it, um, but, like, I don't know. I, I hate paying full price for any of that stuff. It's just, you know, it, get, it gets to be too much. I feel like I've paid out PS5 exclusive for the time being. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, you mean, like, the, uh, the, uh, bop, 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 bop. CD key is the exclusive. I need so many games. I want MGS Collection. I want Sonic Superstars. Yeah, that all sounds good. Even if I don't beat those games, I just play them for a little bit. I guess that's why it's so hard. It's just like there's so many good games to play and there's just never enough time. So it's like it gets really hard to justify a full $60, $70 spend on a game anymore these days. Yeah, I want that MGS collection too. It looks fun. It looks good. It looks good. It's good, baby. Bing bang. I want it. <clears throat> Still got some Tomb Raider shit that I gotta play through yet that I never did. They ain't got enough money for all this shit. Even, even when I wasn't like chasing down. Spidey 2 is PS5 exclusive for now. Mario, Wonder... Yeah, 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 I gotcha, yep. Um, I want to play the Miles Morales one, too. That's the one I'm waiting on. <clears throat> is what I think I meant to say. Because Spider-Man 2 is going to be great. But I gotta wait for that to hit. On Steam, and then be cheap. Star Ocean 2. Ooh, yeah, baby. Reviews the PC version is kind of bad. Hmm. I never know how to feel about reviews or to trust reviews because I was having a conversation with the you know good friend about even just Spider-Man and it's just like although he did love the game, there's a lot of stuff that he was like, oh, I could have done without this, I could have done without that, and it's just like, but then he still really liked it. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like we live in a time where. It's just, everybody's got strong opinions. Why did I think was going to happen there? Everybody's got strong, uh, on sale for 30 bucks. So it's still, okay. I got to think about that. More too. I got to think about that. Oh, hi, it's a card for no fucking reason. Great. Awesome. Nope. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I feel like we've all... I feel like, I feel like it's... I don't know how I want to say this. Um... talking um i feel like it's tricky because it's like you know i remember you know we, we grew up games were what they were you know i mean you could have strong opinions about a game and, and some people did but i just remember it was just like i was just i don't know i just feel like i was happy to play any game you know back in them og nes days I didn't feel like getting too hard on some games. Um, definitely had opinions, but I feel like it's just like the longer gaming has existed for, it's like the wonder left at some point. And now everybody just went full movie critic on everything. There's just a lot of big, a lot of big feelings out there about a lot of games. It's just tricky. Speaking of Mario, my mom FaceTimes my brother and my family on Sundays. I called her yesterday while she was online. With them in a ringtone for me is Mario song, and my three-year-old nephew heard and shouted Mario. That's awesome. <laughs> I like that. MGS is because they don't give a lot of video options, and people are upset, for instance, because MGS1 is an emulated port of the PSX version using the PC version, but a lot of people lack a bad keyboard mouse controls. Mmm, sure. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not saying that uh, the opinions and feelings aren't legitimate. It's just, I feel like we're kind of conditioned to uh, feel strongly about a lot of things these days. I don't know. Ah, eat a dick. I don't know that it's a bad thing because it, it raises the bar. I guess I don't really know how to feel about what I'm saying here. I also feel like, oh wow, I also feel like the whole, you know, like, angry video game nerd phenomena really wrecked how people experience things too. <clears throat> I'm not sure that was a net positive yet. Oh, that's right, this saucy spicy boy. I, mean, I did love me some ABGN, don't get me wrong. Yeah, unless the game is broken, you usually don't care. Keyboard and mouse for MGS throws you off. I don't think I could do that. I'm not great with keyboard and mouse. I never have been. I'm okay with that. Frog suit. That's going to come in handy nowhere. But I'm glad I have it. It's mine and no one can take it away. Bing bong. every pipe oh this level that's right I actually like this one when I was little I couldn't do this level too hard Fantasy 12 for keyboard and mouse? Really? How come? What makes that a good combo for Moon? Enlighten me. Because I've never played it. I don't think I played 12. Let's bitch that games that really never had keyboard and mouse controls and vision for it doesn't work well with keyboard and mouse. Better bitch. Furthermore, they... Flat out stated keyboard and mouse was not planned for it. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny when you break it down like that, you know? Because it's just like, oh yeah, this game was never designed to be played like that. But we've accommodated you. Players who require this, we've accommodated you. As best as we could. But it doesn't work right. No, it was never designed for you. So get a gamepad and move on. Move on, Sonny. 
wanted to say a quip like, back in my day, we didn't have no keyboard, but actually that's like how gaming started, so. Home gaming anyway. I think. I don't know. I guess I don't know what came first. This is like a chicken or the egg situation for me because I don't know the history of like literally what came first. Nor does it really matter. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, that's the one that, yeah, okay, now, yeah. I've never played that one, Moon, but I have, uh, I've watched others play it, so yes. I feel like I could confidently agree with your assessment. Can I have a mushroom, maybe? Yes. Uh, I think it's down here? Nope. Well, wrong again. Wrong again, Bunny. Better luck next time. You bitch. As a bitch. That's a wall. Oh, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Back in my day, we had a joystick with one button, and that's how we fucking liked it. What do you think would happen if you took someone who was like a native Atari player from back in the day and you handed them a modern control with like, you know, eight triggers, <laughs> four buttons, D-pad, two analog sticks. <laughs> Ooh. Hello and welcome to hell on in. In my day, all we had were buttons that had a one in four chance of being the right one. That's right. And that's how we liked it. We didn't want to know which button was going to be the right button. Head would explode, correct. Like, can you imagine? Because, like, there were there were controllers like that, right? Like, you'd get the third-party uh, rando turbo pro gamer controller where it would have the joystick and the D-pad and, like, an A and B button and then a turbo A and B button and then, like, some sort of, like, horribly set up macro and, like, it did like all this cool crazy shit and it had like a million buttons that did like two different things go back to the pong days those were simpler times better times we'd, we'd control a bar and a square ball and that's how we liked it oh look at that full fucking fail the original Sega Saturn controller still blows my mind. So round, so big. Yeah. Yeah. And then it had like a spot to plug in like a thing with a little LCD screen so that you could like play it like a goddamn Game Boy. Like, look at all of this power I have. Let's, let's pee wing in here just for the fuck of it. Hot sauce myself. Whoa. Hey, let's just skip it all. Oh, fuck it, I guess. Oh, that ghost, that ghost coming from my ass though. Look at that. Wanna haunt, he wants to haunt my anus. I say no. Bye, bitches. Let me flail my my butt plug at ya. Oh no! Too good to be true. Cousin and I had endless hours playing Pong in the Genesis Arcade Classics game. It's because it was fun. Your cousin said to you, hey, do you like fun? And you said, yep. And so fun was had. <laughs> the Xbox potato. <laughs> hey, Stripey's here. Get this party started. No! No, sir, no. Hold on, I gotta boom. I gotta boom, boom quick. Dreamcast controller with the weird VMU plugin. Yeah, yeah, baby. Ghost wants to crap damn cheeks. I think it's in. I think it's in the status. I think I think it's in the title. Nickel farts, nickel toots. Shot more smell and fishy. It's the lobster lady. Clackety clackety snip snip. Clackety clack. 
Excellent. I don't know what I expected there. Well, this is bullshit that I don't want to deal with. I got like a million P-Wings. Because I saved everything I got. Don't you give me that, that shrug nonsense. Come on. Yeah. Yo. Just nip, nip, nip. Just, just nip the cheek. What's up here? Why is there uh, one of those blocks over here? Story, what's the story, morning, morning Glory? What's going on? Oh, that's all this is. Oh, a mushroom. Great. Great. Well, we're done. Beat it! Easy. Aww, the glasses fit just right. Sing to you all. No, it wasn't. No mo to it. It was most certainly not. So for Mario All Stars, they brought in like um. It's kind of it's kind of playful. Like they brought in a bunch of Super Mario World sprites, and I I don't even know that they did it for the OG Super Mario uh, All Stars. It might even just be for this one because this is the Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World. But they brought in like um, some Super Mario World sprites for the transformations. Kind of cool. He's too cool for school. Who, me? Who, me? Oh, Jesus. No way. This is foreshadowing for how horrible the airship level in uh, World 8 is going to be. That's what this is. something throwing a wrench into your plans bing bang <laughs> yeah that crunchy thunder mm. it's like someone's crackling a bag of doritos in the sky ludwig von koopa ludwig von koopestein wow cool cool story bro Like bing bang. <laughs> what is that? Is it is it thundering outside? Ooh, sounds like sounds like some really big thunder. <laughs> Eat shit, Ludwig. Yeah, that's right. Man, it's really storming outside. I kidnapped the princess while you were running around. She's here in my castle. If you dare to try and rescue her, <laughs> king of the Koopas. <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the thank you for the toots. <clears throat> Nickel toots. Get them while they're hot and wet. So this version of the game makes these levels a little bit more fun and interesting just because in the, S, uh, in the NES one, it's just black background. You're staring into the void. At least here it's like, oh, they've got some nice hills, some mountains. Feels, feel, feels a little like, it, you know, it, it's a little dire, but it's a place you might, you might want a vacation. So your tooths should not be moist. Well, they just are. 
Yeah. Someone had Taco Bell. Just is what it is, you know? think they can throw wrenches at a plumber please anyone knows how to dodge a wrench it's a plumber get out of here and as i've said before this was when i was any percent running this one this was the worst part the auto scrolling then the only time save is how quickly you can get into the pipe when it first comes onto the screen. Oh, that was cool. Or yeah, or someone who knows how to play dodgeball. Really could be either. Really could be either. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. Very true. Sorry. I was quite mistaken. trying to do the speed strats through these levels at all. You think Mario would be made in today's culture? A man gets bigger by eating mushrooms and flowers and hitting the pipes takes you away to far away right <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's an interesting question. If Mario had not been invented, would Mario come about today? Probably not. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. That's all you need to know. That will carry you through uh, the business world too. Really, you can apply that to anything. Absolutely. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What was that guy's name? What was the character's name in that movie? I'll say something... Callahan or something. Whoa, wow. Wow. Unexpected. Patches O'Houlihan, thank you. <laughs> Patches O'Houlihan, that's what it was. <laughs> Let's fuck around with this and lose it right away. What could go wrong? Everything. Dodge a ball. Steve the Pirate. Such a good fucking movie. So dumb. So good. Five Ds sounds like a wild night, baby. Yes. Get all them. Get all them five Ds. Fighting wrenches with hammers. This is this is this is this is the way. You throw wrenches, fucking throw hammers. Eat a dick. Eat the five D's. And they all look like hammers. <gasps> oh, he almost got me. Got a doubler on that bounce. You see that? That was nice. Dodgeball always a good double feature with either Tropic Thunder or Anchorman. Very true. Very true. Oh, I'm missing. There we go. Only takes one hammer if you actually hit him, it appears. Oh my. Ooh, look at them five jackhammers all lined up in a row. Pom 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 pom. Alright, let's get let's get let's get handsy. Whoa! That was special. I thought for sure we were gonna get gripped. I thought we were gonna get the old HJ. 
My hammer. Great. Now I'm just a normal guy. <laughs> Tom Cruise's best role playing Tom Cruise. A hundred percent. I mean, he's good in movies, but also kind of like, I don't know. Fuck Tom Cruise. <laughs> Care do I was? <laughs> Ding wong. Uh, no, I can't handle the cruise. Nor do I want to. Uh, that joke was worth was worth it. <laughs> it gave me the giggles just right. There's so much fucking lava in these levels. <laughs> Playing inside a volcano here. <clears throat> back up, back up, back up. Now we're gonna get we're gonna get handed by everyone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get manhandled by all these thick forearmed hands. 100 <clears> percent <throat> Everyone thinks they can handle the cruise until he's in your house, jumping on your couches, babbling like a madman. And the bald spot. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Every We went from no hands to all hands. All hands on deck. <laughs> oh, fuck you, fish. I just wanted a fire flower. He just oozed that he smelled like cigars and stripper. Strippers wear. Stripper sweat. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. <clears throat> Not fuck this level. Nothing. There's no judgment here. <clears throat> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Look at how I'm dodging every wrench expertly. Expertly dodging every fucking wrench. Look at this. Go, Marvelous. How you doing, baby? Choo choo, motherfuckers. Hey, Marin. Welcome the hell on in. You don't get that smell off easy. It's like stripper glitter. <coughs> I'm finding it for finding it for months. Not that I would know anything about that. Marble Urban. Wait, where am I? Oh, there we are. Woo. Where's the dodge command when you need it? Gone. 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 The way of the dodo. Fucking way of the dodo. The dodge command lives on in your heart, Moon. Just imagine it happening. And then imagine me going, ah! Because I get scared by it. Just imagine. If you will. Okay, so this level, I didn't imagine as a forest. I respect that they added the forest background in. This level I did not picture as a forest. I don't think there's any more power-ups to be had. Oh, Jesus. Oh, just go, I guess. At this point. At this point, we're fucked, so we just go. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit to that. It's Marin with a cute cat emote. What are you Jesus fucking Christ for? Was I clipped into the pipe? What do I want to use? Frog it. Fuck it. Frog it. 
It does. It makes it much less dark. What could go wrong here? Everything. All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun, but now it's done. The power up somewhere in here, I think. I don't remember. I think it's right there. Fine. That's how that's supposed to go. It's not even hard. Think of a good looking move. <clears throat> modern problems do require modern solutions. I just showed you a modern solution. Uh, we're gonna go in the sand. We're gonna go in the sand trap. Nice, nice starry background on this one. We're in the clouds, apparently. We're in the desert of clouds and uh, boob hills. That's the trick there. Give that a moment. Fireballs won't spawn on screen. It's just a pipe. Checking to see if there's anything cool over there. I don't know, 100% remember. Oh! Bing bang. Bang. Oops, the daisies. I live in the garden of madness. This. Yeah. This is one of the speedrun strats right here. Take the star right away. Just jump through these fucking dudes. But I do want the fire. I want the fire fire. I need me some fire. No, you son bitch! Touched me. Touched me in ways I didn't want. Wait. This way. I almost went the wrong way. Bong bing, bong bing. That's right. That's exactly how the song goes. Oops. Show me on the doll where you were touched. Like, everywhere. Like, everywhere but the nose. The rotating waffles? Yeah, the rotating waffles are not to be trifled with. Nor is this guy, apparently. Just stand still, bro. Oh, we're so close to the end, gang. Whee! Not much to go here. Oh, there we are. Bing, bang, bang. I think I'll try and take hammer bro powers all the way to the end. I don't know that I remember how to do this, the fast kill at the end. I could try. It'll probably be a disaster. I could try it though. Might be a quicker kill with the hammer bro suit, I would imagine. Keep moving. Just gotta keep bouncing. Keep jumping and bouncing. Can't take no chances. I hit jump. I disagree. Motherfucker ate my input. What do we want to play with here? What do we want to play with? Butt plug? Raccoon butt plug? The trick 
for the any percent speed run. No wrong warp, any percent speed run was to get a fire flower and keep it. So you can get the quick kill on Bowser at the end. So that was always the thing. It's like you could still finish the run without it, but you could never go as fast as you wanted to without the fire flower. So you had to like get through this this bullshit, not get bored and hold on to the damn fire flower the whole time. Let's dance, let's dance. Everybody dance, everybody dance. Everybody dance, everybody dance. Let's see if we can make it. I have a lot of things to remember about playing this level very quickly. life. I guess we're gonna do this, uh, all traditional. Oh, classico defeat. <laughs> and it's a little guy. Whoa. Literally decades. Well, welcome back to the fun. Welcome on this journey of fun with me. <laughs> oh, look at that slanty ass fireball. Got me. All right. What power do we want to try this time? Oh, I'm a lot of cool stuff. Well, not all out of cool stuff. A lot of the cool stuff I wanted. First beat Mario 3 on crowd control only a few years ago. Oh my, that's a hell of a way to do it, Marin. <laughs> on crowd control, Jesus. The nice part about this is, as long as you make it to the one up, you uh, can technically just play the level forever. Mistake's been made. Oh, where's my donut? Give me, give me my donut. Is only his head the hurt box? Here, like in the OG. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Head hurt box. Jesus, I did it again. I think after all those times practicing this, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, you can let him jump on you, for sure. But then you can't get back out. Necessarily. See, I just did it right there. line up right that's the problem <clears throat> that's the tricky pad still got to get his lizardy ass to line it up <laughs> yeah that's part of the speed strat if i had i don't have fire flower in my supply if i did i could show you cool stuff but i don't i don't got it no, there's nowhere to pick it up in here, I don't think. Because I think that was the big thing about the speed run, is that if you didn't have it, there was no way to 
get it. I don't think. Because I think there's only leaves in... I think there's only leaves in here. Like... <laughs> Let's get weird. Let's get weird with it. Everybody likes the sound effect, right? Yeah, it's just the leap over here. My my ears. Can he come up this high? Tricky fuck. Where am I? Oh, there we are. Let's let's save Merv's ears. How'd the dude make the sound without the tail? He can't. It's not. He can't. Can't be done. Come on, big boy. Come thump on me. Ah! <laughs> Fell to his doom. Thank you for the GG. Well, like, what a sad way for him to go, right? In his own home, that you would assume he had a hand in helping design. And look, and look, like he's just like, oh, I crashed through my own, my own flooring. I made, I made the sides of the room out of the unbreakable flooring. But look what I did. That's so long, Bowser. Look, look what, look what he did. Look what he did. Why didn't he just make the whole room out of the unbreakable flooring? Mario would have had nothing. Thank you, but our princess is in another castle. Just kidding, JK. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Saved your life. Bye bye. Enjoy this Ramba Samba here. Bing bang bong. Boop beep bop. That's what you get for cutting corners of the building materials are uh, well, I mean the dude had a whole like whole ass empire going like He had to cut a corner somewhere, right? It makes sense Time for an ad break. Absolutely wonderful time for an ad break. I loved, I loved this ending as a kid. Like, because that was always a thing. It's like so many games didn't have like amazing endings. Like, and that was like a cool ending. And it wasn't even that great. Like, ultimately, wasn't even that great. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> I'm going to make, I'm actually going to stop now. I'm going to make decisions about what I want to play tomorrow. I'm probably going to play Act Razor. No, it was no Mario 2 ending. It was no Mario 2 ending. Um, 
it was no Mario 2 ending at all. Not even close. Let's do this. Boom. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, way better than, it was all a dream. Wake up, fucker. Well, thanks for hanging out, gang. <clears throat> a little short and sweet today. Just get the Monday started out. Get the week started out right. <sighs> thanks for the toot bits. Moon, thanks for them subs. Always appreciate it. Very kind of you. No ranch for Kitsu. No ranch? What, what ranch we got? So what are you talking about? Straight, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, we all love ranch, but like, what the fuck are you talking about, Stripey? I got, I got ranch for anybody that wants it. Like, ranch for the grilled cheeses? Oh. Oh, oh. I mean, no, you got to bring your own ranch. I'm all out right now. But that does sound phenomenal. Well, okay, everybody's got homework now. Everybody's got homework now. So for tomorrow, by tomorrow, you need to make a grilled cheese and dip it in some ranch. And then report back. But only the crust. So, like, eat out. Eat out the center of that bitch. And then the crust go on the, the ranch. Oh, howdy, Bowie. Thank you for the GG. And good morning to you, too. Grandma would have had it. <laughs> but, well, this ain't Grandma's house. This is this is Bonnie G's sad kitchen. Deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. I can deal with it. God damn. Uh, I think we can go, let's go somewhere different. Let's try and, let's try and raid into someone different every day. Cause that's, that's fun. Let's go, uh, visit Bud Cave TV. Ranch on grilled cheese, yes sir. Yes sir, bing bong. Oh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Yeah, I think I'll start ActRaiser tomorrow. That sounds good to me. I think that's what I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of your Monday. Otherwise, I'll see you around uh, the internet and all the various places we all have our paths cross and collide. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye now. <laughs>